Hello, everyone, and welcome to Rotter TV. Today, we're visiting Syracuse, New York, for the Cavalcade of Cars, part of the three-way series at the New York State Fairgrounds. Good morning, my name is Kevin. You're viewing my 31 Ford Model A Street Rod. The theme would be a 50s hot rod theme. Um, I wanted to do a little bit more modern look, but still keep the theme from the 50s. It went with its uh, raspberry candy house of color over black. Uh, usually it would have been over a gold or a silver. We chose to do it over black. Um, which give it a darker appearance. The chrome accents off that color real well, I think. The, the engine is kind of what I really like. It's a 383 stroker, performer heads. Uh, it's dual intake, a dual quad Edelbrock um, carbs, uh, 500s. I got a TCI Street Fighter transmission with a nine inch Ford rear end and a 389 drag pack. Those are high boy headers. Just a pretty standard header for an open wheel street rod. You can get them from, you know, Jags or uh, Summit, any, any place really. Uh, pretty standard. The rims are torque thrust rims, kind of old school, 
look a lot like a Krager, but yet a modern inside appearance. Uh, it's just, again, it's, it's a chrome thing, uh, accent. I just, I love the chrome, man. I built the car 12 years ago. Uh, I lost it to a fire once. Uh, I rebuilt it after that. I got my heart and soul into this thing. The roof is out of a 1967 International Scout. Um, and that's the reverse uh, detail on there is what I was looking for. Kind of goes with the valve covers and the uh, shaker scoop. It's a cat eye style light. Um, I believe those came from Summit as well. Um, a Summit job. I uh, Summit Jags, yeah. You know, it's amazing how fast they get things to your front door. All right. Yeah. So, everything was pretty much handmade. The dashboard's a red mahogany. Um, my buddy's a cabinet maker, and him and I together put that. I uh, made that up, and uh, it's just coated with a clear coat. And then I took a piece of eighth-inch aluminum, polished it, and filled it with the autometer gauges. It's a 32-inch Speedway column. I have a B&M ratchet shifter in there, uh, so you don't miss the shifts. And when you're going from zero to 60 in this car, it's a lot of fun, so you don't want to miss them. I'm Mark Will, I'm from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. This is my 62 Chevy 409. Well, it's an original 409, 425 horse, built in 62. It's got a 11 and a half to one compression, dual fours, solid lifter cam, ISKI cam, hydro boost brakes, and it's made to be a great driver. It's a lot of fun to drive. It's got a Doug Nash five speed. How long so, have you owned the car now? I've had it about 10 years. I bought it from a guy that it was built in uh, Southern California originally. It's a pristine original body, Aww. straight as an arrow. There's no patch panels, no replacement parts. I put the wheels and tires on it. It just had steel wheels on it and I wanted to get a little different look to it. So it's got a narrow nine inch Ford rear so we could get the uh, little bit wider tires on the back without chopping the body. So when you bought the car, purchased the car, did you purchase it done already? Yeah, it was, it was partially done and then I kind of you know, took it from there. I kind of took it apart, sanded and buffed the whole car. You know, relined all the moldings and and uh, just made sure everything was the way I wanted it. So, Mark, talk about the interior a little bit. Huh? Yeah, it's all an original uh, '62 Impala Super Sport interior. Bucket seats, console. Uh, you can see the see the. Uh, the uh, shifter there, it's a Doug Nash 5 speed. It's got the uh, all original dash up top with the factory sun tack with the uh, electronic box in the engine compartment. Moon, the addition of the moon gauges down below. And uh, original steering wheel. Everything's re-chromed inside, polished. Red on red. Red well, on red. red. It's not really a red, it's not to call it a red or red. Yeah. Bottle. That's Roman red. Roman red. Original color, Roman red.
bugs on the back here? Oh, I'll get that. That's cool.
under extra size, not extra fries. That's right. Hi, my name is Ben Gregory, and you're looking at my 1957 Chevy Bel Air um, called Unsettled 7. So this car was uh, built from scratch. Um, it's a tribute car for a car that I originally saw a race in 1968 at Fulton Drag Strip, and the car rolled in front of me. Um, and I always loved this car and always wanted to build another one, so we built the car from scratch. Um, I got the permission from the original owners of the car and the family. Um, they all flew in from Texas to see the car after I finished building it. Um, it was a tribute to Ed Don Hauser, who originally ran this car in seat gas. We're going to be running in a double A gas because it's blown injected. Big block now with Lanco four speed in it. The engine's a 470 cubic inch, makes 1700 horsepower, um, 871, bird catcher hat. Um, it's got all the goodies inside. Um, there's a Lanco four-speed transmission behind it with a two-clutch setup, nine-inch Ford. The car is uh, all street legal, um, inspected, insured, registered. Um, I will be driving this on the street as well as taking it to the track. I will be racing this at the track as well, yeah. So what tracks of the area will you be racing at? I'll take it to Estes Safety Park to do some testing with the car. And then I'm going to take it to Lebanon Valley for a show in September, which is three days. And I'll have uh, this car and my other car both there to uh, run them. It's very close. The car was the car was damaged a couple of different times during its racing day. And when Ed repainted the car, he repainted it a couple of different times, um, a little different setup on it. And so we just made a hybrid of that car, used a lot of the same graphics that were there originally. Um, it's got 16 colors in the graphics. It's got uh, a pearl white base that we started with. It has um, lacing on the roof. It's got uh, Peter Gunn pinstriped the whole car for me. He did some accent work on it as well. Um, we tried to bring a lot of things back that were, were true to the days in the 70s of when it was done. Let's talk about the interior, okay? Okay, so we, Took some seats in our upholstery shop, did uh, the pleating in the seats with the red stitching. Um, we did the door panels the same way. We put brass knuckles on the, well, we made a, a brass knuckle type of thing on the door, uh, just give it a little pizzazz. It was um, a double A gas, uh, gas. There's, there's it's, certain particular things it has to have in order to be in that class. Right. It's, it's blowing alcohol um, on gas. It's got to have a full cage in it. Um, it has to be able to be certified uh, to be able to run. It's um, all the safety equipment for it, the seat belts, the harnesses, um, the gauging in it. Um, it says it's got a Lanco four speed in it with a two clutch setup. The tunnel is removable, all comes out of there so we can get to the transmission to service it and work on it. Everything works in it, all the lights, the tail lights, the backup lights, the directional signals. It is. It's uh, it's a lot of fun, and I don't go any place with a car that people just don't love it, want to be go for a ride in it, or or take a better close look at it.
this way and that way. I saw Father Sparky created this probably about six, seven years ago. It was on sawhorses. After he passed away, we redid it all for him. But as you see at the Fulton Show, he's looking down at us again still. So he's always here watching us. And why I have you here? So what's your name? JR. JR. Yep. Resemblance. Yeah. <laughs> Strong genes. Yeah. Tell me a story about Sparky's. I the kind of the backstory at Syracuse. There's Sparky's. Go ahead. Well, my father first went to the, the uh, state fair. He brought a hillbilly truck there, and uh, he was talking to the owners about how come this beef and cattle building is empty, and they said, you know what, Sparky, you can have it. After that, it's been the show within the show. Well, that's you know? been going for years now. It's been going for years, oh, yeah. 15 years. Yeah. 15 years. It is very well done. I, I always get a kick out of the, you know, they got the hay and the straw, and yes, they got the cars yes, kind of just yes. situated there. And and every, any kid, my yeah. father, any kid can get jump in any vehicle they want there. Yeah. You know, it's all about the kids, it's about the vendors, it's about having a good time. And they have some great music there too. We have great music. <laughs> the best bands, yeah, yeah. as he says. So are you still and behind that, planning that? I'm there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. With my stepmother and my nephew. That's cool, man. Yeah. Cool backstory. We're going to keep it going. And he started this when it was a Motorama yep. a couple years ago. And when the Cavalier de Cars got involved, I called them up. Yeah. And, uh, Last year, they were able to give me this building again, and this year they did it again. I got 10 cars in here now. That's awesome. I got eight vendors, all the vendors that my father would want to be yeah, here. That's cool. And uh, yeah, he, he brought this to me. He's still, he's still right here. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cool story, cool yep. backstory. Yep. Thank yep. you. Yep.